Here are 15 Notion shortcuts that you probably didn't even know existed. I use Notion more than any other human on earth, and I didn't even know some of these existed. I'll break these down into three categories, navigation, formatting, and blocks. Subscribe for Notion tutorials, let's dive in. Navigation and interface. All right, the first one here is Command P. If you open this up, you can literally search your entire Notion account. Super useful. Number two, searching on a page, you can do Command F and literally find something on a specific page. So let's say you know you wrote the word lorem somewhere on this page, you could search for it and find it immediately. Super useful. Now let's say you have a database here, we'll make it a calendar view. I'll write one here, two here, three here. So now I've just taken a bunch of random actions, right? Well, what you can do is command, I don't even know what that thing is called, whatever that is, and go through your history like this. So I just went back into my history of filming the morning routine video. I can now go forward as well. So you're moving through your page history. Really cool. Now let's say you're on this item here and you want to open this up full page. Well, you can hold down command enter and now it's opened up full page. That is navigation and interface. Now let's look at editing and formatting. Let's say you're writing some text like blah, 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 and you don't want to enter into a new line. As you can see, it says write or press space for AI or do forward slash for commands. Let's say you want to still be in the same block as this one, but you want to have a new line, if that makes sense. Well, you can hold down shift and then enter and you are still in this same block here. So if I write blah, 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 blah this time, as you can see, when I move this about, I'm moving this entire block. Whereas if I hit enter and then wrote blah, 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 this here is then its own separate block. So holding down shift enter, that will make sure that this here stays as one block. Now let's say you want to duplicate this block. Well, what my grandma would do is click here and then click on duplicate. Oh, that is way too, that takes way too long. So instead, you're just going to do Command D. And as you can see, it duplicates that whole block. On blah, 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 Command D, duplicates that whole thing. So you don't even have to select it. You can just be anywhere on that block and click on Command D. Okay, now I've written blah, blah, blah way too many times. Let's say I want to delete a line. Well, I can just do Command Delete and I delete that entire line. So if I click here and let's say I want this line deleted, I'll do Command Delete and it deletes that line. So now you don't have to highlight anymore and then click delete. That's way too slow. We're just clicking anywhere, command delete, done. All right, let's say you want this blah, blah, blah here as a link. Well, what you could do is highlight it and then where are we going to go? We're going to search here. Oh, look, there it is. That's the add link. That's way too slow. You're faster than that. Instead, just highlight command K and now you are making this into a link. So this blah, blah, blah here would be a link and you can link to other pages such as this morning routine, for example, or of course you can link to other websites. So now if I click blah, 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 I open up this morning routine. Well, let's say I want to remind myself for blah, blah. Well, all I have to do is at, and then click here on remind me. So now it's going to remind me here tomorrow at 9 a.m. to blah, blah, which, which will be useful, I guess. All right, let's say this blah, blah, blah here, I want turned into code. Well, all I have to do is command E, and now I've turned this blah, blah, blah into code. Uh, you coders out there can tell me if this will actually do anything. I don't think it will. And now a three-parter for number seven here. Click on the word, command B makes it bold, command I, italics, command U, underline. And there are seven editing and formatting shortcuts in Notion. I feel like I shouldn't have to say this, but let's say you want to create a new page. I've seen people go, you know, page, and then click on these dots here and do turn into, and then go page. Guys, just do, just do forward slash like that, and then write page, and there it is. You, the, the second you start using this forward slash, you're going to speed up a lot. I've seen people do that with everything, like columns here, for example. People will go like, you know, blah, and then like drag this here and then write blah again and drag this here to like create columns. If you want three columns, just forward slash three, now you have three columns and now it's created. Just use the forward slash and then start typing. Yeah, it's, it's so much faster. Now let's say you have this text here and you do want to quickly change it to something else. Well, instead of dragging the mouse all the way, wait for it, all the way over here, you can just do command slash and then you can turn this into anything you want. So you don't have to drag this mouse around. We can do everything just using the keyboard. But yeah, you understand how shortcuts work. All right, let's say I have this text here and I want to select a lot of it. Well, what I can do is click here on Lorem and hit shift and then down and I select the text like this. I can also use the side arrows to select it like this. It's just a lot faster than, you know, manually dragging like this. The next one here, if you want to create a toggle, guys, you don't have to do forward slash and write toggle, whoops, toggle. You don't have to do that. That takes too much time. Just do this icon, whatever that's called, space. You've now created a toggle. 
And for the people who aren't using headquarters as their task management system, let's say you want to create a to-do list, instead of doing forward slash to do and then clicking on to-do list, and then writing your task here, which by the way is a terrible task management system, what you can do is write this icon, this icon, space. You've now created a to-do. But if you want a better task management system, then check out headquarters, click on this video here to see the full tour, and it's the perfect place to use all of these new Notion shortcuts that I just showed you.